today is setting up an aerobatic plane. What we talk about should work for any size aerobatic plane. What you're going to see in the video is us talking about it and then we're going to run clips of our planes which is the 37% Kike and Wayne Ulrey designed Yak and we'll show you how in flight that works but we'll talk about it with our stick plane. Sweet. Okay, what we're going to do is based largely on what's already been published by Peter Goldsmith for the aerobatic trim setup and Kike's magazine articles. That Okay. Show us the first step. We're going to start up by trimming out our plane for a perfect level straight flight. I like to check the up and down thrust. The way I do that is straight and level flight, the airplane's trimmed. High throttle down to low throttle, the airplane does not balloon or, or sink. So I know that the up and down thrust is, is pretty close. We want the plane to track straight and level for all throttle settings. All right, we're going to talk about um, proper CG on your aircraft. Uh, we're going to start with a level flight and we're going to pull to a 45 degrees, roll it inverted and let go of the stick and see which way the plane goes. If the plane gains an altitude you're going to be tail heavy. If the plane nose drops and al it loses altitude then you're going to be nose heavy. What you're looking for on a 45 when your hands are off is the plane just to slowly gradually drop toward the nose. Uh, hold a little bit of down elevator just a tad to keep the plane flying straight and that should be just about your perfect CG for pretty much any type of aerobatic maneuvers that you'd be looking for to do whether it be precision or 3D. Looks like the CG is close. The plane slowly shallows from the climbing 45. Here I'll check for lateral balance by rolling the airplane to inverted and correcting elevator only. I'll add weight to the wing that ends up high. Okay, next thing we're going to look for is right and left thrust. We're going to pull a vertical upline where we can see the canopy of the plane. We're just looking for the plane to go left or right. If it goes to the left, we're going to increase right thrust, maybe some washers under the motor, and to the right we're going to take some out. We're going to talk about aileron differential next. What we're looking for is axial rolls. So the way we're going to do that, we're going to point the airplane into the wind, we're going to pull up 45, we're going to hit right aileron, let it roll. If the plane walks to the right, we're going to take out some down aileron. And if the plane goes to the left, we're going to take out some up aileron. Pretty simple. In this case, my airplane's walking left. I'm going to reduce the up travel and the right aileron. To ensure I've gotten the aileron differential correct, I'll put the airplane in a pure downline and give aileron only. I want to see axial rolls with no barreling. All right, our last topic here would be uh, talking about our mixing on our control surfaces. What we're looking for is when I give rudder stick, I get yaw and nothing else. I don't want any pitch coupling, I don't want any roll coupling. and so. Another, another thing to look at is that it would be knife edge mixing or flat and level mixing. I think you'll find that almost every plane, it doesn't, the plane doesn't care whether it's on its wing or on the uh, fuselage, that mixing will, will be appropriate. Before I take off, I'll set up a mix. Rudder to up elevator and rudder to opposite aileron are typical. I'll start with 4% and then we'll take off and see how that works. By flying the flat turn, I can determine if I've gotten the mix right. If not, I'll land and adjust the percentages accordingly. If you really trust somebody that knows your radio, you can have them work in the window while you're flying, but I don't recommend that. I think it's pretty locked in. 
final mix that we're going to do, uh, and this is more for iMac or Precision guys, 3D guy may not be as concerned about it, that is going to be a downline mix. You're going to find that most planes on a downline are going to want to pull out to the belly uh, or to upright. And what we're looking at, we're going to, as we get our last two clicks of throttle, we're going to do an offset on the mix and we're going to get a little down elevator. So as we pull the stick all the way back, we get a little down elevator and we're just going to get that so the plane draws a straight line. I tend to leave that on. It's not it's not very much mixed, so when you come in to land, the plane wants to come down to the runway. You're going to hold a little back pressure anyway, so it works out fine to leave it on. There's so many elements involved in mixing that to do it now, we're going to end up running long. So we're going to save that for another tape, and we'll get into all the details of actually how you would mix the airplane with your computer radio. Fly, live, circus. Uh, yeah. Here is going to be talking about uh, mixing on your control surfaces from elevator to rudder and also aileron to um, rudder and elevator and, the other way and prop <laughs> and balance and <laughs> or rudder to aileron. aileron. We have to the canooter valve. Yep, we are. Here, here. Flux this right here? Rudder. Right. <laughs> elevator. Right, right.